Hello, my name's Paul Vincent. I'm from the London Borough of Wandsworth. I'm here to represent my profession. I'm a social worker. I work in the public sector. I think people are justifiably angry at the moment, particularly with the revelations around the Panama Papers, that there has been massive tax avoidance by the, the very rich. And I think we have to go beyond the very simplistic version that often that they will want to say that people are envious or that people are unambitious who, who are not wealthy. We should all just be paying our fair share and I think it's, it's an issue of justice. Uh, I'm Jessie, I'm a student social worker at the University of Birmingham. Um, I'm here today because I'm sick of the way that the government's just shitting on everything that we hold dear. Um, I hate that they say we're all in it together when we're quite evidently not and I'm just here to say we still care and we, we're not putting up with it anymore. The health service is so important to me. I, I work in it, but I value it for what it is for an organisation for this country and I think a lot of people feel the same way. What I feel is happening is it's been changed into a marketed um, private organisation with the philosophy of what it's about is rapidly changed to becoming very American and I really worry about the impact of that both personally because it will be my job which is becoming extremely stressful with the way that things are going and I just don't know in the future people are going to want to come and join it. They have deliberately underfunded our services, creating crisis after crisis, and blamed the already overstretched staff. All of this has weakened the NHS, leaving behind a service to ease the way for private sell-off. Whether we pay for it in our taxes or we dedicate our working lives to it, the NHS is ours. And for any government, come along and break it up and sell it off in this way so that private companies can profit from illness, they must be held to account. Yeah. Hey Nikki, leave us free. We don't want academies. Hey Nikki. Hey, hey, hey Nikki. Okay, my name's Louise Regan. I'm the Senior Vice President of the MUT and I'm here today campaigning against austerity and the cuts agenda of this government. Uh, the MUT is completely opposed to the forced academisations of schools. We think that it's the wrong priority, we've got a massive crisis with teacher shortage, lack of school places, funding prices in schools and money shouldn't be being put into that. We also don't think schools should be forced to do anything. There are lots of schools, the majority of primary schools have chosen to re re remain as maintained local authority schools accountable to their local communities and we think that they should be allowed to continue to do that. Rescue our schools! Rescue our schools! massive payoff to academy chain leaders and we think it's completely wrong that we have directors taking massive amount of money out of our schools which should be spent on children's education. Rescue our schools! Rescue our schools! Rescue our schools! Rescue our schools! Rescue our schools. Rescue our We've got to stand together, we've got to at least voice our opinions and say enough is enough. And maybe the more of us that come down to these events and the more of us that come together, we'll then reach out to the people in the middle who go to work, who have a job, who don't know what to do, who pay the taxes, but they know the system's wrong and they want some sort of a change. So things like this are good, they're showing unity, they're showing compassion and understanding. Well, there's no point in just sitting back and watching it happen, you've got to take some kind of action. And if we look across history, the ch change, the root of change is always found in the resistance of the people. So I think history is driven by people taking a stand. If you don't make it, if you don't speak out, you will get ignored. If you don't shout, sometimes you've got to come out, you've got to say these things. Sometimes you can you can hide behind your social media feed, you can hide behind your petitions. Those are great, those are wonderful, they and maybe they work. But they are so easy to ignore because everyone, because they're so easy to ignore. So sometimes you've just got to get out, be visible, be seen. Great. And let's face it, we get, we get seen. <laughs> You 
don't always do something to win. You don't always do something for the reward or for status or to make someone like you. You do something because it's right. You do something because it's, it matters. And you know, that's the only way we're going to ever change the politics of things. When we raise generations of children, what won't be bribed with money, what won't sell their soul or sell the nation out for money to a corporation. It's only us that can do that. The government aren't going to bring a generation of free-thinking children up. They do anything they can to stop free thought. They do anything they can to suppress anyone that's the opposition. I think it's really important that we all take some form of collective action. I think unity is strength. We do need to come together on shared issues across the health service, housing, jobs, austerity. Um, and I think we are stronger when we speak with a united voice.